Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today we're comparing three thermal pads against the Arctic MX4 thermal paste. We have the IC Graphite thermal pad. Then we've got from Thermal Grizzly the Carbonaut as well as the Frost Sheet and then of course the Arctic MX4. We have a Huananji X99BD4 mainboard, an Intel Xeon 2670V3 with 12 cores. And to keep everything fair, I've done the tests all within one hour. I'm using the same CPU cooler, of course. I clean the uh, CPU cooler and the CPU with uh, alcohol solution every time. And the fan speed is also locked. So it's as fair as I could achieve. The IC Graphite Thermal Pad is first. I've been using these pads for three years, so I know them really well. And what I like about them is they're really robust. They have survived many, many, many different configurations and they still work really well. So here we have the results. This is running Cinebench R23 for 10 minutes and we can see it heats up to around 62, 63 degrees. Here in Australia, availability in the retail space is non-existent. You can basically get them from Amazon and you're looking at around $20 for a single sheet or for a uh, pack with two sheets, $37. That's Australian dollars. I reached out to Thermal Grizzly and they sent us a few goodies, including their Carbonaut Thermal Pad. Dankeschön. And we are testing the 38 by 38 millimeter pad. Here are the temperatures. We're getting a high of 59 to 60 degrees. So that's already improved compared to the IC graphite pad. Retail availability in Australia is okay. We have PLE and PC case gear that stock these products. You're looking at $22 for the larger 38 by 38 pad and 19 Australian dollars for the 32 by 32 millimeter pad. So that's pretty good. On Amazon prices are a little bit on the high side. I'm seeing around 40 Australian dollars. And of course I forgot the graphics card. That's why the machine doesn't boot. The frost sheet thermal pad is next. This one comes from Sweden, a new company to the market. We're testing the 38 by 38 millimeter pad and here are the temperatures. We are also seeing 59 and 60 degrees on the high side. So very comparable to the carbon out. If I look really closely, I would have to say that the frost sheet uh, is holding the 59 degrees a little bit longer. So we're seeing the 60 uh, for less time. So uh, if you want to really split hairs, then maybe you can say that the frost sheet is a tiny bit better but it's within a degree so it's a really tough call. The uh, challenge is availability. In Australia there's no retail availability. There's also nothing on Amazon. You have to buy them directly from Frostsheet and you're looking at 34 Australian dollars. And for the thermal paste we've got the Arctic MX4. Big thank you to Arctic. They've always been happy to help us out on the channel with coolers and other Goodies. So let's have a look at the data. Also 59 and 60 degrees on the high side. And yeah, very similar to the frost sheet. Most of the time it stays at 59. Just towards the end, uh, it touches on the 60 degrees a few times. And in terms of retail availability, well, this is the gold standard. You can buy these in many stores in Australia. You're looking at around nine Australian dollars for a four gram syringe. So guys, let's talk about all the results. We can look at a couple of aspects. The first one is performance and the IC Graphite thermal pad is definitely last. It's a few degrees warmer than the other pads and the thermal paste. The thermal grizzly, the carbon out as well as the frost sheet are really on a similar level compared to the thermal paste. Between the two pads, I would say the frost sheet maybe a slight, uh, a slightly better performance, but it's within a degree, so it's really uh, a tough call. Now, talking about usability, I've been using the uh, IC Graphite pads for many, many years, so I trust them, I know their work, despite them being a little bit on the high side and the temperature also being a little bit higher. These two, I need to get some long-term experience under my belt. Um, 
especially the frost sheet has a tendency to stick to the CPU cooler. But if you're very gentle and you've got like a little, uh, little tool, you can uh, scrape it off. And so far the Thermal Grizzly Carbon Out has worked fine for me. I've used it in a few machines already and so far I haven't had any issues. It feels quite different. It's like a cloth. Um, so it's a little bit different in terms of handling it. Uh, and I also really like the retail availability in Australia. The Arctic MX4 is easily available in Australia. Most computer shops have it in stock. It's cheap, $9 for a four gram syringe. Try it and test it. But for me, because I build systems so often, I don't uh, want to deal with the cleaning and the mess. So that's why I've been switching to thermal pads since the last three or so years. And uh, I'm now testing a few other manufacturers to see which one works best for me. So there you have it guys, that was a roundup. We compared three thermal pads with the Arctic MX4. Let us know what you think down below in the comment section and I shall see you soon with another one.